Everybody is in the GOTV live from 2022 in Essen. And right now I'm really happy to have Barbara Ryan. She is ex executive director at the World Geospatial Industry Council here with me at my little TV stage. Hi, Barbara. How are you doing? Hello, Denise. How are you? <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. And uh, it's a real honor because this year for the first time um, it is that the WGIC is collaborating with DVW, the German Association for Surveyors, who's organizer here of Intergeo. And uh, yeah, for people or the audience who do not know, you just make us a short introduction of the WGIC and uh, what's your role in general. Yeah, thanks, Denise. And, and let me just say, this is my first Intergeo or Intergeo. Oh, so well. Many of our <laughs> WGIC members, I think, have been longtime partners here, but as a relatively new, young organization, it's the first first time we've had this collaboration. The World Geospatial Industry Council is a not-for-profit trade association working on behalf of the private sector. So you have to be a private sector company to join mm -hmm. WGIC, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but we are a not-for-profit organization. And we've got just three really pretty simple objectives. We, we want to make sure that all the data, the services, the tools, the products, the contributions that this community, this sector makes to the global economy and to society at large are leveraged to the greatest extent possible. Number one, okay. contribute to so the global... So it's a global, global worldwide absolutely. non-profit association. Absolutely. Okay. The second one is to just advance policy matters, undertake policy studies and advocate on behalf of the industry. And then, of course, the third one is to create additional business opportunities, either within the WGIC family or between the WGIC family and those outside for additional work that this phenomenal community can yeah. provide. It is a phenomenal oh, community. Oh, it's unbelievable. And it's really international. So I think it's a blast this year that also after two years or almost three years after the pandemic, yeah. so many people from different countries are here or companies representing uh, yeah. their technologies and innovation. So what's your impression when oh, it's your first no, time? No, here? I mean, it's overwhelming, actually. Uh, one, I really appreciate the partnership that we've had with DVW and Hente because um, we've really had a really nice, um, and, and uh, we've had a lot of really nice engagement, whether it was the opening ceremony the first night, whether it was our um, board meetings and receptions yesterday. We had a technical digital twin event this morning where five of our members came in and spoke, um, the press conference, and then of course the announcement of our Trailblazer Awards tomorrow. I mean, we've had so much going on. In fact, I was just commenting to someone, I've either got to get here a little earlier or stay here a little later because I still haven't done the walk up every single aisle across every single cross section for all the exhibitors that are here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen a handful of them, mm -hmm. but it's immense. Yeah, it, it is. is immense. <laughs> so um, you bring an extensive knowledge with your organization from programs of I, uh, geospatial policies, climate change, yep. which was also uh, part of the conference, diversity and inclusion, which will also represent it at, at the Trailblazer Awards that we will have at the third yep. day of yep. the Geo yep. in the Expo yep. stage. And uh, yeah, you make industry, academia, collaborations and um, when we grab, for example, the climate change yep. topic, which was also part of the conference, a topic of the conference a few minutes ago. Um, what do you think is the contribution um, an organization as WGIC with all the hats and the companies in it yeah. can contribute to, um, well, improve that topic for working better with that topic yeah. in administrations, in politics? So yeah. what's the contribution yeah, you no, can do? Thank, thanks for that question. So a couple things. First of all, um, over the last year, year and a half, the, the organization adopted climate and climate change as an overarching topic for which many of our programs could feed into. And then we also decided um, just within the last six or eight months to do a little bit deeper dive into digital twins and particularly spatial digital twins. So there's an overarching policy umbrella and then there's a deep dive on a technical. Um, 
particularly for climate change. Um, we've done some work that shows the contributions that the private sector can make to this topic, and we showed the Conference of the Parties. This is the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, so it's the international global governance mechanism where all parties to the convention, all countries, go every year to something called a COP, a Conference of the Parties, okay? Mm -hmm. Last year, we were able to gain access as an industry association speaking on what our members, as well as the public sector, are doing to monitor greenhouse gases from space. Mm -hmm. That laid the groundwork for a prize that we're going to be awarded at COP27 mm -hmm. in Egypt to do even a deeper dive on what the private sector is doing to help mitigate climate change. Mm -hmm. There's tremendous, and I, I think I said it before, there are tremendous data, services, tools, products that the private sector has, but they aren't getting meaningfully incorporated mm -hmm. into government solutions in a systematic way. Of course, there are really good examples, this country, that country, but you know what, we're, if we don't do it globally, we're sub-optimizing mm -hmm. what our sector and what governments are sub-optimizing the climate solution. Mm -hmm. We've got to bring all the tools in the toolbox mm -hmm. if we're going to address one of the greatest challenges that's facing the earth right now mm -hmm. and has been for many years, yeah. and that's the study yeah. of climate change. We will hear a lot of more about your ideas and your work because the work just started and the yeah. collaboration. It just started. Yeah. So we wish you good luck. Didn't and thank you so see much. You again soon. Thank you, and thanks to just thanks to the whole organization. Okay? Thank you very much, Barbara. All right. Bye bye.